how can I be grateful for the challenges in my life when I really don't feel it? Okay. <laughs> That's a great question because I'm not telling anybody to do something that feels inauthentic to them, but there is a degree of um, fake it till you make it in this as well. If you're not feeling grateful and you know this, uh, especially after listening to this talk in the Miracle Meaning Place as such an effective path to awakening and an effective path to grace and oneness, then there are times where you're, like you said, you're just not feeling it. You have to allow yourself to focus on even the smallest of graces that you can feel grateful for. Just the fact that you can brush your teeth, just the fact that you have running water in your home, just the fact that you have shoes you can put on your feet. Finding the smallest graces allow for us to feel that state of being when we're in alignment. And then it's like a magnet that attracts things into our life that we deserve, that we would normally have rejected when we we're feeling that we we're rejecting ourselves. Feeling gratitude and love is the ultimate statement that we're connected to our divinity. When we are feeling disconnected to our divinity, it's because we're rejecting our true identity. So what you want to do is begin to reconnect to who you really are. And gratitude is a symptom of connectivity to your divinity. So when you feel gratitude, it's essentially kind of putting the cart before the horse a little bit, but letting yourself march your way up to the gates of heaven by saying, I'm going to feel grateful for this now, just because I can, it might not feel sane and it might not even feel normal, but you can say to yourself, I don't know what this is, but I love it. And I feel infinite gratitude for it. That way you annihilate your mind, you use your mind to beat your mind and you fall into a state where you're more connected to grace than not. You're more connected to the reality of you, the love of you, that's the divine of you, which transcends all kinds of adversity, but you got to stick yourself solidly on that path where, you know, it's, it's a path and a trajectory that's taking off into the light and, and is of the light rather than the path that leads you down feeling like you're moving down into uh, a terrible, hard and challenging situation. So focus on the things that feel as though they're uplifting and even the smallest of graces. And you'll start to feel that it's sort of like letting go of a chain one link at a time. And then pretty soon before you know it, you're on this beautiful, smooth runway and you're taking off. So I really appreciate that question. Uh, it's a very authentic question because a lot of people would want to know, how do you feel grateful for the challenges in your life, especially when you're not? You will be grateful for them on the other side because you will have seen them differently because you won't be imprisoned in it. You will have be looking back and saying, oh, now I get it. But it's like they say always in hindsight, you have the wisdom and the, and the peace and the ease. This is letting yourself move up so that you can kind of have that aerial view of your life and not be as connected to the things that are dragging you down in pain. And, um, and that's something to feel grateful for, that you can even get an objective viewpoint in the midst of painful times because you know there's something more. The miraculous is at hand and there is something more. The divinity is beyond this and is untouched by this, the divinity in you.